parts. Today we'll be going over the procedure on a Pontiac Solstice or a Saturn Sky. What happens when you hit the trunk release button inside the glove box and one of these does not release or the trunk lid does not open or maybe you have no battery power and your jumper cables are in the trunk you need to access them. So today we'll be going over how to open all these manually. First scenario is one of these buttresses is stuck. Uh, it just does not release and without getting this open obviously you can't get the trunk lid open so what we'll be using for that is from any one of the cheap tool stores one of these picks I like to use the 90 degree one small like these these probably cost about three or four dollars for the set of four this little one right here will work out for us see this notch right here that gets engaged in there on this little clip and when you release the trunk from the inside, the cable moves out of the way like that and allows this to spring up. So in this situation, you have something either broken in there or electrically it's not working. So we need to manually disengage this cable so we can get this side opened up. So in order to minimize any risk of danger of scratching or gouging the deck lid here, this is why I choose to use this one and from this particular angle. So we want to insert the pick into the back area, so basically behind that little pin right there, and then we're going to give it an angle like this. So we definitely need that angle in order for it to reach that cable, and we're going to be pushing forward takes a couple tries and there we go so basically what we did was with the angle because without the angle it just won't reach it won't engage that so you need the angle in order to push this and once it pushes out of the way it's able to pop back up so let's demonstrate it on this side once again we want to get the pick behind that pin right there and basically about this angle definitely raise it up so it can engage the pin push on it and there we go so we've gotten this far. Now, uh, if it was only your buttress that was messed up, but your trunk is still unlatching, then at this point you're fine. But in this case, ours is stuck. So now we need to go ahead and manually release the latch. The latch is right over here in this area. So in order to reach that cable, we're gonna go ahead and take off this uh, driver's side rear tire. And So after we've removed the wheel, we went ahead and removed the fender liner. It's held in with a bunch of those plastic clips and then two 10 millimeter bolts on the inside. You realistically don't need to remove the whole fender liner. We just did it for demonstration purposes. You really need to access this area back here. So our objective here is to remove this vent. This will give us access to the inside of the trunk. Um, it's held in by a couple of uh, plastic clips. So once we remove that, this right here is the carpet for inside the trunk. So here's the handle we're trying to access. It's the emergency release for when, if you have somebody stuck in the trunk, as if you can fit somebody in the trunk of one of these cars. So basically it needs to get pulled in this direction. The problem is we have uh, this carpet as a barrier in between us on the outside and this right here. So we're going to need to push on the carpet till this pops through behind the carpet and then we can stick our hand in on the other side and pull it. So I'm going to be pushing in on the carpet right here until we feel the handle pop out and then I can grasp it with two hands. So here's a look from the inside as we push the carpet in you should see the handle pop out behind the carpet and then with my hand from underneath the car I can grasp it with two fingers and go ahead and release the trunk at that point. Here is that glow in the dark handle in my hands. We're underneath the car in the fender well. And we go ahead and give it a firm tug. As you can see, now the trunk lid is open. And there you have it. Uh, we have our buttresses released. Our trunk is now open. Of course, if you didn't have an electrical problem that was causing uh, any of this to work, then you might have some fixing to do. If you have the buttress cables, one of them is stuck, let's say, the fix for that would be inside here. There's a lot of write-ups on the forums that are very specific and very detailed on how to accomplish that fix. And of course, how to get your, your trunk latch working again, but now you have access to it at least. So definitely, thank you for watching.